We have here the outgoing as well as the incoming chair of the Media and Public Relations Committee of the EADV. What is the role of your committee? This is a committee that is committed to give out information and communicate with different groups of people. So first of all we want to address politicians and decision makers, then we want to inform general public and especially our patients, and of course we would like to um, give communication skills inside our academy and train dermatologists on how better to communicate. What kind of activities have you done so far? So to, to go through with the, the, the points I made before, first of all for the decision makers, we went into the European Parliament and we did skin cancer campaigns and we did it by example. We examined the deputies of the Parliament, the members of the Parliament, and we talked to them about skin cancer and we tried to sensitize them and also to teach them about this disease and make them partners so we could address the policy making on this issue. Then for the general public and the patients, we went into a swimming pool and we jumped into the water with our psoriatic patients to show that this is not a transmissible disease. This is something that we cannot catch and we show it by example. And then about our training, we do always workshop trainings in our academy meetings and we do help the participants to make a presentation and then we do like the voice contest. We give scores and we give points and we help them by showing them how to do it better. And what are the plans for the future? As you have just heard, um, quite a lot has already been reached. So it is a very good idea to just follow the footsteps which Professor Tracatelli actually has set during her four-year um, period, actually. And I think she has been extremely effective on that. And um, the two topics which she has mentioned, actually, will certainly be very important for the future as well, um, including the fact that um, also putting an emphasis on the fact that people um, may acquire skin cancer from their job because if they are exposed to the sun well then this skin cancer in many countries already can be acknowledged as an occupational disease and we will work on that we will work on the level of the European Parliament but also with other partners who are your partners in these activities well we are very happy that the activities of the EADV um, have come into the focus of UN institutions. The one is WHO and the other one is the International Labour Organization. And obviously that has turned out to be extremely important, for instance, to reveal the true, true epidemiology of um, occupational skin diseases. We will have a much better system to code for them and that will mean that doctors actually can make clear that they feel that some diseases are occupationally inflicted. What was your motivation to be in this committee? Well, I think that raising awareness is very important. And we raise awareness not by just giving out information, but by communicating. Communication is getting through, is getting there directly. That is communication. And engaging people and making them partners, either just the patients or the politicians, if we all work together, I think then we have better results for dermatological science and for treating people. What is your motivation to be in this committee? Well, dermatology is a rather small specialty and it may easily get lost. And I think actually we can prove that dermatology can do more for society than you would expect from its size. And that needs to be communicated. Obviously, George Bernard Shaw has said, communication is the illusion that it has taken place. We're going to change that.